A game engine is a software framework primarily designed to develop video games and includes relevant libraries and support programs. Game engines provide super-fast, photorealistic renderings that architects can also use to make architectural visualizations smoother while creating visuals that can rival those created using offline rendering techniques. The tools permit users to create immersive experiences like VR walkthroughs, providing a more compelling and immersive way to experience designs. Moreover, architects can work in the drafting programs they love, convert the data flawlessly in minutes, and go straight into fast, smooth, real-time rendered architectural visualization using these engines. As there are many game engines available on the market, picking the right one to use may seem a little bit complicated. This is why in this video, we have selected the best 5 game engines for architectural visualization in 2021 to eventually help you pick the one that fits your needs. But before I carry on, make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you are already a subscriber, hit the bell icon to be always notified of our future videos. In number 5, we have Sheva Engine. Creating video games and applications for desktop PCs, the web, game consoles, and mobile devices is possible with the 3D game engine with a graphical editor, Sheva 3D. Although it is mainly used for the previously cited purposes, it also can be used for architectural visualization as it comes with an easy-to-use yet very powerful WYSIWYG editor. The Sheva editor comes with 21 modules ranging from terrain and animation editor to material tools and fully integrated code editor. This engine has many features such as its flexible user interface, multi-core support in the editor, customizable shader, and so much more. It certainly can come in handy for your Aquis projects. And when it comes to the pricing and licensing, the new basic license is for $200, and the new advanced license is for $1,000. In number 4, we have Gamebrio, which is developed by Gamebase Company Limited and Gamebase USA, which incorporates a set of tools and plugins, including runtime libraries, supporting video game developers for numerous cross-platform game titles in a variety of genres, and served a basis for the creation engine. This engine has been employed in games and weather-intensive applications like military simulations, weather forecasts, and architectural visualization. From rapid content creation with custom entity library to real-time interaction with silver lining elements within the World Builder Editor, architects or designers will create their architectural visualization projects for outdoors and indoor environments. It is straightforward to import art assets, and the engine itself is relatively stable. The drawback is that it has a pretty complicated learning curve when trying to script events and build environment overall. And when it comes to the pricing, the engine provides flexible licensing models to suit the needs and the budget of different projects, whether it is for full-scale commercial product or simple downloadable projects. In number 3, we have Cry Engine. It is a game engine designed and revealed by the German game developers Crytek. It has been used in all of their titles, with the initial version being used in Far Cry, and continues to be updated to support new consoles and hardware for their games. It has also been used for many third-party games under Cry's licensing schema including Sniper, Ghost Warrior 2, and Snow. This game engine can also be used for architectural visualization. It offers a set of tools that can help designers and architects turn their ideas into 3D models and walkthroughs. Moreover, this engine benefits the architectural visualization pipeline in rendering out information and videos on the fly, while still creating possible realistic results that would otherwise take extended period to render out by the traditional methods. However, some users found that there is a lack of learning materials, and when it comes to the pricing, you can get CryEngine free of charge. However, 5% royalty applies when you ship your project. Your first 5k dollars annual revenue per project is royalty free. And now, let's talk about number 2. Unity is a cross-platform game engine designed and developed by Unity Technologies. First announced and released in June 2005 at Apple Inc.'s Worldwide Developers Conference as a Mac OS X exclusive game engine. 
The engine has since been gradually extended to support various desktops, consoles, mobiles, and virtual reality platforms. It is prevalent for iOS and Android mobile game development and used for games such as Pokemon, Monument Valley. It is cited to be easy to use for beginner developers and it is famous for indie game development. The engine can create three-dimensional and two-dimensional games and interactive simulations as well as other experiences. Industries have adopted the engine outside video gaming, such as architecture. Unity has become such an essential cog in the architectural visualization machine. It has gained a massive following as a rendering tool as it gives artists the tools they need to showcase architectural projects in a way previously thought impossible. With the help of mainstream computer technology, it has finally reached a point where building a photorealistic, immersive, and interactive visualization experience won't shatter the design budget. It has partnered with Pixies to cut down on the amount of time 3D content developers spend preparing data for import. And when it comes to the price, Unity offers a range of plans for all levels of expertise and industries. The individual plan for students and personal use, it is free of charge, but it also provides two different paid plans for teams and also for enterprises, with monthly and annually subscription starting from $399 per year. And last but not least, number one. Unreal Engine Unreal Engine is a game engine developed by Epic Games, first showcased in the 1998 first-person shooter game, initially created for PC first-person shooters. It has since been used in various genres of three-dimensional games and has been adopted by other industries, most notably the architectural visualization industry. Its founder, Tim Sweeney, believes that the world of visualization is changing creating a clear common language between architecture, video games, and films. He believes that the industries themselves should begin to hybridize and learn from one another. For example, video game developers may reach out to architects to understand how to construct 3D buildings. An architect may learn from the virtual environment of video games to discover new means of presentation. The Unreal Engine allows visualization to embed building technology information in programs like Revit. Unreal Engine's Datasmith service allows non-game creators to easily import and prep BIM and CAD data rather than deconstructing and reconstructing elements for transfer into the game engine datasmith makes it easy for enterprise users to transfer their files the prices of unreal engine is notably affordable than many of the software packages used by designers and architects since architects do not usually produce a commercial product by definition this also means that the five percent of royalty fee assessed to video games makers and developers does not apply unreal engine make it even easier for architects to embrace their software by incorporating training guides and a showcase of architectural visualization on their website and that's why unreal engine deserves the first place on our list. Game engines such as Unreal Engine and Unity have made their way into the architectural visualization field and have been used by many famous architecture offices. They use them to visualize and test new buildings. This means that keeping pace with the development is a necessity. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope our selection of the best game engines for architectural visualization in 2021 gives you a clearer idea to decide which one to pick for your future projects. And thank you so much for watching.